Hello everyone, and welcome to Genius Forge. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through the process of downloading and installing the latest version of PyCharm on a Windows operating system. After the installation, we'll dive into writing a simple Hello World program in Python using PyCharm. Let's first download PyCharm. Open your browser, and in a new tab, simply type PyCharm download and hit enter. This will bring up the official download link for PyCharm by JetBrain. Once the page loads, you'll see options for different operating system. We're working on Windows today, so we'll go with the Windows option. But if you're using Mac or Linux, you can switch tabs to download the appropriate version for your system. You'll notice that there are two editions available, PyCharm Professional and PyCharm Community. The professional version is a paid one, but for most tasks, the community edition works perfectly fine. And that's the one I'm going to install today. So, click on the download button under the community edition, and your download will begin. You'll see the download start, and you just need to wait a few minutes for it to complete. If the download doesn't start automatically, click this link to download. Once the download is complete, you can either go to your downloads folder or simply click on the downloaded file from your browser. In my case, the setup file was downloaded to the desktop. Double click on the file to start the installation process. If your system shows a message stating that this app isn't Microsoft verified, don't worry, just click on install anyway to proceed. I didn't get this message on my system, but if you do, that's the way to go. Now, you'll be greeted by the PyCharm setup wizard. Click Next on the welcome screen. The wizard will now ask where you'd like to install PyCharm. By default, it will install on the C drive, which is fine for most users. I'm going to change the installation location, so I'll click Browse and select my preferred folder, then click Next. Next, we have some installation options. Make sure to check Create Desktop Shortcut and Add Open Folder as Project. This will allow you to easily open projects from your file explorer directly into PyCharm. Also, be sure to select associate.py files with Python, and most importantly, add bin folder to path. This will configure your environment so you can use Python commands from any directory in your terminal. Once you've selected these options, click Next and then Install. Now, just sit tight while the installation completes. This may take a few minutes, so feel free to grab a coffee or relax while you wait. We'll continue once the installation is finished. After the installation completes, you'll see an option to reboot your system. Instead of selecting Reboot Now right away, choose the Other option. Now that we've installed PyCharm, let's go ahead and open it for the first time. When you first launch PyCharm, you'll be asked to accept the agreement. Click I Agree. Next, PyCharm will ask you to allow access through your firewall if you're on Windows. Simply click Allow Access to proceed. Once that's done, you'll see a project icon with a plus sign in the middle of the screen. Click on that to start a new project. In the window that appears, you'll see a field to name your project. Let's call it Python Project. Next, you'll need to set the project location. Next, you'll see an option to select the Python interpreter, which is the version of Python that PyCharm will use for this project. If you've just installed Python, PyCharm should automatically detect it. If you haven't installed Python, click on the above card and install Python first. Once you've confirmed the location and Python version, click Create. After the project loads, look to the left side of the screen in the project pane. If you don't see it, go to View, then Tool Windows, and select Project to make it visible. Now right-click on the project folder, hover over New, and choose Python File. A box will pop up asking for a name. I'll name this one first program. Press enter. Now we're ready to write our first program. 
Let's write a simple program. In the editor, type print hello world. Now to run the program, simply click the green play button at the top right corner. You'll see the output hello world appear at the bottom in the run tab. And that's it. We've successfully set up PyCharm, created our first Python program, and printed hello world. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more step-by-step -step guides and tutorials.